Let me start by giving a quick explanation to those who don't know what Infinity is. Infinity is a two-player tabletop miniatures game by Corvus Belly, which is set approximately 175 years into the future and has a very futuristic sci-fi Japanese feel to it. The game plays on a four foot by four foot table and sees players issuing orders to their small group of soldiers to complete missions. The game has some unique mechanics which make it stand out from its competitors. Some of the most notable things being that the game is played with D20 dice, not something that you see very often in miniature gaming. The game also allows you to assign the orders you have to whoever you like. So if for example you have 10 models, you will have 10 orders and you can allocate those 10 orders to the same model if you like and have them rumble across the battlefield as a one person wrecking crew. There are however inherent risks with this which brings us into the ARO. ARO is the Automatic Reaction Order. Now this means that you move during your turn into the line of sight of an enemy, they can choose to shoot at you. This makes the game very tactical and very thematic. The minis are made of metal and are sculpted and produced in-house by Corvus Belly in the factory in Spain. Their quality is among the best in the industry, in my personal opinion. Now the downside to this game is that well, it can be very difficult to get started, as there are a lot of rules and situations to understand. The basic framework is pretty straightforward, however, but there soon become a lot of layers to the game, which make it difficult to play on a more casual basis. Now, this is where Infinity Code 1 steps in. Infinity Code 1 is the new introduction to the Infinity Universe. This is a set of rules which give the same Infinity experience, faster play times, condensed rules and lower complexity, whilst delivering the same dynamic spirit Infinity players have come to love. The first product in this Code 1 lineup is the Battle Pack Operation Kalstrom. This two player battle pack contains 7 metal miniatures for the Pan Oceania faction, 7 metal miniatures for the Yu Jing faction, a mission tutorial booklet which teaches you how to play, has background fluff about Infinity, and also has five missions to play through, which introduce you gradually to the rules. A scenery pack, which is made of printed, colored, thick cardstock, a game mat to play on, D20 dice, and along with all of the tokens, markers, and templates that you will need to play. This set is available to pre-order from Monday the 16th of March until Friday the 3rd of April. And if you pre-order during this time, you will also get a free Mercenary Ninja model. Along with this battle set, there's also an additional release called Dire Force Mission Pack Alpha, Retaliation. This includes a model for the Pan Oceania faction, a model for the Yu Jing faction, and a civilian to be used in missions in your game. Prices from Corvus Belly are €109.95 for the Operation Kalstrom battle pack and €33.95 for the Dire Force mission pack. Although they do have a deal where if you pre order both packs together at the same time, you get an additional free Shaolin monk model which can be used by either faction. Now, if you're already an existing veteran of Infinity the game, you may be wondering whether it's worth buying up this set. Well, these two factions will be playable as sectorial armies in N4, which are the new Infinity main game rules, which are coming later this year, with Winter 4 being the Pan Oceania faction and White Banner being the Yu Jing faction. Even better, they'll also be playable in N3, the current rules straight away, so you don't even have to wait to use them. Anyway, back to Code 1 rules and why I'm excited for them. Now, I've always loved the Infinity Universe, the artwork, style, and the minis themselves. I actually even love the rules. However, they're just a little complex for me, someone who likes to play very casually. Now, this is where I think Code 1 can fit perfectly for me. Infinity currently has a total of 10 factions available to purchase, and each of those has in the region of around 50 different products too. That means as a game, if you're just getting into it, or as a retail store looking to stock the item, you're faced with around 500 SKUs to delve into. Infinity Code 1 will start with just four of those factions, Panos Yanya and Yu Jing we've just talked about from the starter set, and Combined Army and O12. All Code 1 products will be packaged and branded so that stores and potential new players know exactly how to get started into this new world. The game will over time expand out to further factions, seeing a new battle pack probably released annually, which will see two new factions enter Code 1 each time. 
Along with this new Code 1 rule set, the whole Bigger Infinity game has been overhauled too, using its smaller, easier access point as the game engine on which to build upon for the bigger rules. Whilst the main Infinity game sees armies of about 300 points fighting over a 4 foot by 4 foot battle zone, Code 1 will take some of the complexity out and scale it down. At 15 points, you will be using approximately 5 models and fight over a 24 inch by 34 inch play area. This just happens to be the exact size of the math that is included in the Operation Coldstrom set. At 25 points, you will have approximately 8 models and by putting two of these mats together, you will play over a 48 inch by 34 inch play area. Take your game up to 30 points and you'll have 10 models playing on the regular 4x4 Infinity standard play areas. Now while Infinity N4 rules will use 300 points, it will still use only around 10 models. The difference is in the granularity of options in the full N4 game. As an example, the difference between a 23 point model and a 29 point model may well be huge, whereas in Code 1, models will be 2 or 3 points and have less options to choose from. If you're familiar with Infinity now, you may know the Code 1 games as along the lines of limited insertion missions with one single combat group of 10 orders. Now, unusually, Operation Kalstrom won't ship with a Code 1 rulebook. Around April 27th, Corvus Belly will release a free PDF of the Code 1 rules, and then approximately one to two months later, they'll release a printed softback book, which you can then purchase. This will be inexpensive and is designed as a gamer's book rather than a hardback reference book. Now, at this initial stage, without much more information, I'm still excited about it. Do I think it's expensive? Maybe a little. Compare it to Warcry or Kill Team, which operate in very much the same space, and the card terrain and paper mat seem a little bit expensive. However, I have seen the terrain from, from a previous set, which is the Wildfire one, and this is the same quality as that, and I think it's a great, quick way to get the table together. I'm disappointed the Code 1 rules won't be in this box. However, again, there are rules in there to get you playing and the rules will be free, which allows them to make any last minute FAQ amends before printing the soft cover version. So maybe it's for the best. Once this ships, I'll be showing you everything in more detail. However, until then, check out the Corvus Belly YouTube channel for more up-to-date information. If you're excited for Code 1, let me know down in the comments and let me know which faction you plan on playing.